I've lost count how many times I've asked you not to put the gnomes by the garden gate in case they get pinched. No gnomes is good gnomes. If you didn't drink so much, you might listen to me a bit more often. Yeah, I'm drinking so much, I don't have to listen to you. We sure still shouldn't leave the gnomes by the gate. You should have seen their faces. They weren't prepared at all. Who are the gnomes? Oh, you silly son. That's Sam and Jane. <sighs> I felt awful. I felt really sorry for them. I mean, I'm dying. Oh! Careful. Since when have you cared? Look, I can't be bothered with all the questions and hysterics. Mm. Oh, well, thank you very much. So I get left with the questions and the hysterics while you just sit there quietly. Right, Gran, how are you today? You alright? Oh, alright, so it's just the usual end of life tasks. Cool. <clears throat> what? Do you know what? How many times have I asked you to take off your filthy trainers as right, soon as you it. come into the house? Right, this yeah. is still oh. my home! I wonder if you really can hear me, if it's just wishful thinking. I can hear you all right, Pep. Well, you never could when you was alive. Not if I used to ask you to put the rubbish out or mow the lawn. What? Drink. Large brandy, please. <laughs> Selective hearing. I can still do that, you know. I still miss you. I miss you too. So get on with some living, you silly moo. Make the most of it. Well, I cope. I did, in my own way. Just you do it your way. And now the end is near. Are you writing? Writing me will. Leaving you all my millions. Well, me incontinence pads and my facial hair removal cream. Gran, you're sick. I know I am. It's okay, I know you didn't mean it like that. I'm gonna have to face up to it at some point. Now then, my garden knows. I think I'll lead them to Rita. Never did like her anyway. You're a wicked woman. I am a wicked woman, and at this moment a very frightened woman. Death, suffering, and all that. Just the usual. When are we going to have that talk? Oh, I've got things to do. I've told you I don't want to talk about it just now. I'm not important. The important thing is Look, I get to know. It might be important to you at the minute, but it's not important to me just now. Mum! Mark, you there? Yeah, I'm here, man. You cool? Cool, yeah, alright, yeah, not bad. Sorry, um, trouble at home, you know, ground and everything. It's all a bit intense here. Under Sam! Sam! Oh, I thought when she, she would get terminally ill, she'd just so go to bed and fade away like my granddad did. Have you spoke to your mum about it? No. Why what? would I? Everyone doesn't know what to say to each other, and we're all worried about saying the wrong thing to each other. Um, Do you know what? I'm going to play with David. He's better than you. 
Oh, David is not better than me, trust me. Actually, David, he got a really high score the other day. Oh, well, good for David. That's because he's a muppet and he spends all his time on it. So when I go, I'm going to die some dignity. Jane, I'm the one that's dying. Your dad was here. He'd what? Make sure everything was all right. Tell me you love me. Make it all better. You barely even look at me. Of course he did. You know, I wanted to be there for you. I mean, he never told me what he wanted, so I didn't know. <laughs> he did to me. When? He told me when he was ready, and I respected that. That's what you want to be talking about, Jane. You see, he keeps thinking he's offended me. I know, I'll talk to him. I don't want this family breaking down again. Don't worry, it won't. Well, you see that it doesn't. It's very important, Jane. I don't want Sam thinking he's got to be anything but himself. Slaughtered. Great. Mum, I'm sorry about earlier. Do you remember when you were Sam's age? What do you mean? You know, going out, having fun, dancing. Did you go dancing a lot? Of course. <laughs> do you ever want to do it all again? You know, if you could. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Mum. Mum, I didn't mean it. Oh, my God. 
You know, when your granddad was sick, your grand looked after him all the time. Came his full time carer, really. But when I was there, I heard him apologising to her. She had to clean him up, and when he had to ask to go to the toilet. Thing is, Sam, I wasn't there for her. And I don't want to make the same mistake again. I mean, do I look after Gran, nurse her, or do I step back and, and let her have her independence? You know, it hit me like a brick when I was told your Gran was dying. When it was your granddad too. But we never said the things we needed to say to each other. I don't remember him telling me that he loved me. Your grand says he did. I don't remember him saying it. I'm sorry that you hear me and Gran arguing all the time. It's probably because we're so similar. I promise I'm going to make the effort for it not to happen anymore.
She was putting it on a bit, Mum. She wasn't that drunk, really. She only had a couple of glasses of wine. So she wasn't too embarrassing then? When she first walked in, I could have died of shame. Yeah. I bloody love Gran, you know. Tonight we had a really good laugh. The first time I spent time with her lately without thinking about it. Mum, did you ever think maybe Grandma was protecting us from what she went through with Grandad? You're probably right. Either that or Grandad had to have his say. <laughs> in the way he was like. I'm scared, Mum. I'm really scared. What do you think it'll be like? I really don't know. I'm glad you're here. You look rough. <laughs> I've been better, of course you've never been like this. <laughs> Too many wines. Shouldn't you be at work? It's Friday, hospice day. You go every Friday, remember? Oh, of course, I forgot. <gasps> Bingo this afternoon. We've got about an hour. Do you want me to help get you ready? Yeah. Let me finish my coffee first, though. Mind your fingers. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm such a miserable cow, haven't I? Yes. Yes.
behave I will yourself, young lady. I will see you, Jim. And behave yourself. I will. Well, I'll try, but I'm not promising anything. Thank you. you take care. Cheerio, Jim. Thanks Bye. very much. Bye. Shake Bye. 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 Oh, oh, she's good, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, I've had a lovely day today. Oh, you have, haven't you? Absolutely marvellous. Thanks, guys. Where are you off to now? I was just into town with some friends. Oh, have a nice time. Right, I'll see you later. You take care now. I will. Love see you. you. Thanks for coming. See you later. All right? Yeah. What do you fancy doing now? A ride? Come here a lot with your dad, you know. I know. I remember. I used to love that crossing on the St Clair. You'll do it again, Mum. I doubt it. You ready to talk? I suppose I'm going to have to. I just need to know, Mum, what you want to happen. I saw a film once about a man dying. His answer to that question was, treat my death as if it were your own. That's what I did for your dad. As if it were mine. Just didn't expect mine to come round so soon. I'm scared, Mum. Me too. I'm scared of getting it wrong. I'm scared of dying. Not, not being dead. I'm scared of dying. It's slipping away. I mean, do we slip or do we crash? And I want it to be so dignified, you know. What would you do if it was your turn? I don't know. No, I'd... I'd want a bit at home. <laughs> With my family and... and stuff around me. Someone have to come in and wash my hair every day. <laughs> I'd do that for you, if it was your turn. It's not, is it, Mum? It's your turn. What makes you think I'm any different to you? Treat it as if it were your own. As long as we're honest with each other.
I realised with Graham that not everyone can have that serious talk. Can they? So I, I've written it all down. Well, you can talk to me, you know. I'm always here for you. Know that. I don't know, but, you know, just in case. <laughs> I'm not planning on going anywhere, by the way. Not just yet. Can I ask you something, Mum? Mm. We're going to get Grand's facial hair removal cream. <laughs> and incontinent pads. I still haven't got them. 